Well, welcome to the Frequently Asked Questions channel again. Uh, this time we're doing session two of the questions relating to divine truth. And if you remember in session one, if you've watched the session, and I, my recommendation if you're watching this particular video that you, and not watched the introduction session, the session one to divine truth questions, then I suggest you do that now before you proceed with these questions. These questions are going to surround the subjects that we raised in the first session regarding what are the attributes and qualities of divine truth. And what, the reason why we're doing that is because the attributes and qualities of divine truth are very defined. And we're able then, if we can define the attributes and qualities of divine truth, it's very easy then to apply these attributes and qualities to things that we hear of in life to determine whether the thing that we're hearing is divine truth or not. And so it's my recommendation that we'll go through these, these attributes and qualities. We're going to discuss them from two perspectives, aren't we, today? Mary's yeah. joining me again today. Yes. And that is, with the first perspective is, what, are the, what is the attribute or quality relating to the specific quality of divine truth? And then the second part of the question for each attribute and quality is, how does that look in our day-to-day -day life? What, what does it look like if, we're, if we understand this at the soul level? What, what does that attribute and quality cause us to do? So that's our focus today. Today we we'll be looking at the first seven qualities and attributes. And in another session, we'll be looking at the next seven attributes and qualities. And of course, the attributes and qualities are not exhaustive. And so we need to understand that these attributes and qualities are specifically uh, what we've created to help you define what God's truth is, but they're not exhaustive in their nature. In other words, there will be other attributes and qualities that we can discuss at a later time. But these, we feel, are the 14 most important attributes and qualities that we'll be listing, seven of which we'll cover today. What did you want to say, darling? You were... I just wanted to say, just to remind everyone that it's not an exhaustive, exhaustive list. a definitive list of yeah. qualities about God's truth, of yes. God's truth, yeah. And in fact, it's impossible to provide a definitive list of the qualities of God's truth when God's truth is infinite in its nature. So, yeah. so that makes sense. Um, but these 14 qualities will help people greatly determine uh, whether what's coming to them from whatever source is part of God's truth or just a part of what person, a person's personal opinion or what people on the whole earth believe, but, but is really just an opinion and not actually truth. So that's our purpose today. And so we'll get started with our questions one by one. Thanks for your time listening today, and I'm sure you enjoy the questions. <laughs> 